Today's acrylic nail tutorial is full of time-saving tips to do a nail fill in under 45 minutes. We're going to go over polish removal, application tips, we're going to talk about how to file, how much time to spend on filing, polish application, and lots more. So stay tuned! Welcome to the Meticulous Manicurist Nail Tutorials. I'm Lori Halloway, Master Nail Technician, Salon Owner, and Author of Sheer Savvy, Secrets and Strategies for Successful Salon Apprenticeships. I'm setting a new standard in nail education utilizing real life, real situations for real learning. My tutorials provide explicit instruction for a thorough understanding of theory and technique. Join me by subscribing today to learn everything you need to know to be the best. Yeah, President's Day, no school. I love kids. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. I got your coffee. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. It is free. You'll just get a little notification when I upload something. Um, so you're here today because you want to learn how to do a faster fill. And the only way I know how to do that is to show you how I do a fill in real time. Yeah, but it's stupid. And this client has a normal nail polish, so we're going to remove that with 100% acetone. Nail polish comes off much faster when you use 100% acetone. So that's your first tip to do in a faster fill is to use 100% acetone. People have been asking for more acrylic fills because they said that they like how I teach things. The editing is what takes so long when I do videos, so to save time in the editing process, you're going to hear our conversation in the background. And unfortunately, if the people who don't like to hear that in the background, I'm sorry. But if you want more acrylic fills, because of the time-consuming editing process, that's just how it has to be. It wasn't he or she. It wasn't close. They weren't riding me by any means, but I think it was the headlights were making the fog. Oh, yeah, intense, the reflection. You know? Yeah, you're not supposed to wear your... Well, they, they, yeah, they're bright, but I think they were just high. It's yeah. just a bigger light, you yeah. know? I mean, and, and I was... This client is a hairstylist, and you'll see that she has a little bit of hair color that has seeped in between the acrylic and the natural nail on her middle finger and hopefully you can't see a lot I don't know I remember talking about I have um, hair color stuck underneath a couple of my nails too so that's gonna be gross when you see that but as you know my motto is real life real situations for real learning and it's never a perfect opportunity to film something to teach you guys something and in real life you know we get stuff stuck under our fingernails all the time <laughs> this is insane just insane and I don't know if it really was the truck's fault well, that's or not, scary but... because then if something did stop suddenly in front of you and you weren't able to see oh that. no oh god no what well, the, the what was worse was when cars would come and their lights were shining at me yeah I couldn't see anything other oh. than their lights in white it was crazy, and all I thought to myself is, "That's all they're gonna do." You know, they ain't seeing better than I'm seeing because they right. were in the front, you know. But I thought I don't want to be the leader of the pack. I would much rather be behind somebody. And then I turned on 52, and right when I was turning on Hogan, somebody turned to where they were in front of me, and I thought, "Thank you, God." Oh God! I needed that. Oh my God! Was I cut on my finger at the end? No, Bill, I felt that. Oh. Where at? Oh, I see it. That splinter. Laziness. Because Man, your hair looks great today. Oh, you think so? It's yeah. so big. And no, I know, I love it. It's huge. <laughs> I love it. Oh, well, that makes me feel better because it's just gigantic. I've got it next week. I'm going to have Dave give me TK, but there's a conditioning treatment that's like a mild version of it just to help with the frizz, mm -hmm. or I would be a total fro today. Right. Oh, do you mind if I look nope, at that? No, you can grab that. <coughs> My father-in-law had that um, sleep apnea test last night where you go in and sleep and they monitor you. Mm -hmm. 
because he is, he's not doing real well right now. He's got fluid on him that can't get off. So he has congestive heart failure. He's, he's starting to get the best of him, and he just, and he can't breathe. Oh, and he no. has all that fluid on him, but they think that if he had that, what do they call the CPAC machine yeah. to help him, yeah. that it would help. Huh. Are they getting too long yet? Um, right now, yeah, but okay. I like the length that they were two weeks ago. Okay. I, I'm, in, I'm enjoying the length. You may have noticed when I took off her nail polish, she said had some stains under the acrylic. That was from the last time because she has a hairstylist and she's been liking wearing her nails a little bit longer. She had some cracks on the sides of her nail where, where um, the acrylic meets, you know, the side of her finger and she had some lifting and got some moisture trapped underneath there and got a little bit of pseudomonas spots on her nails but there's no lifting today so we don't have to worry about it it's just a stain and it's not going to hurt her nails so the first step after we remove the polish is to push back the cuticles with our cuticle pusher and we're going to use the knife edge of the cuticle pusher to scrape off any trigeum that is adhered to the nail plate and make sure that you have a good space. Um, the skin is pushed back really well so you can file the nail with the nail file to buff off any skin that is still stuck to the nail plate. And all of his sisters then were also married. He's the only male left. Mm -hmm. So all of the brother-in-laws have passed and all of the brothers have passed so he stayed with us for about four days that just changes your schedule of the things that you do mm -hmm. he's a pretty easy house guest though that's nice yeah so what are your boys doing today Lounging. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. All right, my focus is time saving for fills. So my another motto that I have is you touch it once. You don't want to be picking up and putting down different implements over and over and over again when you do a fill. So you don't want to pick up your file, start filing to blend the acrylic to the natural plate and then find that you have some lifting and you need to sit down your file and pick up your nippers. So I start with my nippers. I go around and I just um, squeeze that acrylic, any tiny little lifted parts. You know, some of this, yes, I could just file off, but I don't want to do a lot of filing. So I want to do blending with my fingernail file. So I'm going to go around on all 10 fingers and I'm going to squeeze those little areas that have a teeny bit of lifting and I'm going to pop it off with my nippers so I don't have to do a lot of filing. And I don't have to pick up and sit down my nippers and my fingernails files over and over and over again. I'm going to do it once. After the nipping, we're going to use our fingernail file to blend the old acrylic into the natural nails so you don't have terrible fill lines and we're gonna um, remove any shine and any little bits of adhered skin off of the nail plate. Ridiculous manicurist stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it hurts my brain. Mm, I bet. Because it's important. And it has to fit on like a million different things. So <sighs> what's your next stage with your thing? Um, I'm just waiting now so it's to be docketed. So okay. it passed, you know, it was inspected and made sure all of the parts and stuff were there. And now I'm just in line. But thank goodness it, uh, it's not 22 months anymore of waiting. <laughs> it's only eight. Mm. I, I logged on to the United States patent attorney's office the other day and they'll give you an update. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. So what's the next stage after that? They'll tell me if any of my claims are, like sometimes you can say something and they're like, you can't claim that. Okay, so they have to double check that you're not 
fraudulently. Yeah, you're not, you know, um, claiming something. Like, you can't claim it's going to heal somebody or... Okay. Oh. Everything has to be worded appropriately. And, and then if there's anything that needs to be changed, then I'll get an office action saying that I need to adjust stuff. Or, and if not then it gets approved. So I'm waiting. That reminds me today I have to order this respirator mask because the stuff that I have to use to put on the prototype to make all of the surface smooth mm -hmm. smells really bad and they say that you have to wear this respirator mask. Um, and I can't do it in the house because it's too stinky and it's too cold to do it in the garage. Mm. So that's the, the next step with the prototype is I have to put this coating over top of it and um, then I'm going to make a mold of it and I'm going to try to pour a few and see how that goes without see how difficult it is mm -hmm. um, if it's super difficult then I'll j we just go forward with uh, somebody else doing it paying the guy to make the injection mold but you know it's ner a little nerve-wracking because when I first launch it I don't know if I'm gonna get 10 orders or a hundred orders I and I don't want people to sit around and have to wait for a hundred orders. But if I make a mold at home and pour it. I think I might need to take another one for Okay. It. I should just bring it over here and turn it off. Let me do that. You yeah. know, on my weekends, I just. And I have to have it way from loud because it's either in my purse or sitting someplace else and I don't have a house phone. So I always, if I turn it down now, I won't remember to turn it back up. So sorry about that. That's all right. It doesn't bother me. I always turn mine on silent at night, so, you know, because it goes off all night long with notifications mm -hmm. and stuff of the YouTube channel. And then in the mornings, I'll forget to turn it back on. So I'll be in my do. purse and it's on vibrate mm -hmm. and I can't hear it. Dave takes his phone upstairs and I leave mine downstairs because I figure if, any, if there's any emergencies, they would call his phone too, right. looking for me. You know what I mean? My worst yep. case scenario. Because I don't, I know myself, I don't remember to turn it back up. Right. I forget what I was telling you about. Oh, well, we were talking about the mold. If oh, yeah. So, it. if, if I get this coating on it, make the mold, pour a few, and I'm like, oh, this isn't so bad, you know, in the next six months, Maybe I'll be able to make a hundred of them at home. Them mm -hmm. Yeah. And so then if I launch it and get a hundred orders, I'll be able to fill it. But <coughs> my goal is to at least try to make a little bit of money to go toward that cost of making the injection mold mm. because it's expensive. I mean, it's, it's going to be. And that's when you get to the point of someone else doing it. An injection mold is someone yes. else doing it. Yep. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like twenty-eight thousand dollars. Holy smokes! Looks like we both have hair color under the oh. sum of our fingers. I don't doubt it. She's like a natural level three, so I color it a three with ten volume just so it's mm -hmm. you know, smooth and shiny, just maybe a couple times a year. So she wants like the um, an ombre slash you know the whole um, what do you uh, balayage, balayage concept you know, and I thought you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna see how far I can go on her because you know how do you price that when you're dealing with 
how many times do I have to reapply? How much product do I have to use? How much time do I need? Mm -hmm. And I don't do it often enough that I could look at her. And she's heavily naturally pigmented. She's dark complected. She has dark eyes, you know. So <clears throat> I can tell her, look, I can't get it light enough. We're going to have to go caramel. I uh, uh, but I'm going to shoot for the stars, and we're going to have to take it off, oh, and yeah. we have to take it off. And that's very difficult for me to say to a client, but especially a young person. Well, doesn't it stop working after 45 minutes anyway? Well, yeah. Well, like, theoretically? I, um, well, I've got... Lightener. I have a client that I use 30 volume bleach for 55 minutes. So, okay. and it still moves. They say it doesn't, but it moves. It will? It moves. You know? I can't stand when uh, you try to speed it up, put them under the dryer, and it just dries it up. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that did. Well, I do my frostings under the dryer. I do all my, but, but hers but is out of scale. But if you leave them on so long, then they just dry up. I, well, I don't know. I haven't had a problem. I, but I'm not really shooting for, I mean, you know, it just depends. It just yeah. intersections. It, you know, I've always done it, so I don't even know what I do to make it not happen because I've do never you, put my frosting on and not put it under a dryer. Do you apply lightener to damp hair as well? Yes. Like you do your color? That's do. probably why it doesn't dry up. Yeah, I, I rarely do it on dry hair. I'm going to try that. I have one person I do it on dry hair. But most of the time I cut first. So it's damp, you right. know, but it is damp. And that maybe that is it. That wouldn't make sense. But her, um, so I tried the, the color plex. Oh, yeah? For the first time. Yeah. Because Pam that I work with, she does a lot more. She'll jump into the avant-garde work where I, with no exaggeration, will blow it off. Oh, I'll yeah. send them to her. Because I don't have a fashion color line. I don't want to have a fashion color line. It's probably not a good idea. No, I don't like but it. But I. It Let's talk about the placement of your acrylic when you're doing your fill. You're going to sit your ball of acrylic in the center of the nail, and then you're going to use the left side of your brush to get it close to the left side, and then the right side of the brush to get it close to the right side, and then you're going to brush it up the nail plate. Make sure that no acrylic is stuck anywhere on the skin or is touching the skin and move on to the next nail no problem there so but I've been watching her and I've been watching her do a little bit more of it I mean and I knew our goal was never gonna get platinum because she her hair would disintegrate before it would get to that point but I asked her all the questions because she's taken the true balayage course and she does use the clay color mm -hmm. a lightener and then she also uses the lightener that I use the least step lightener so she knows everything that I normally do and then it does that also now to do an overlay on this entire natural nail I'm going to pick up a bigger bead of acrylic I'm going to sit it close but not up to the cuticle line I'm going to walk the acrylic over to the sides with the tip of my brush I'm going to walk it over to the side with the tip of my brush. I'm just lightly patting it, just barely touching the acrylic and pulling it slightly forward to move it up all the way to the end of the nail. Now I'm going to get a second bead of acrylic. I'm going to sit it on the free edge side of the nail. I'm going to press it to the left and to the right. Just lightly tapping it. Now I'm going to wet, wipe and wet my brush off again. Turn my brush around and blend it up the nail. Acrylic will move as it's drying, so you have to make sure that it's not flattening out too much in one place or another and that it's not slid down into the nail walls. So while it's setting up, I still try to pat it and move it a tiny bit so I get it right where I want it because I don't want to do a lot of filing when it's dry. So right now I'm just shaping it, sculpting it, making sure it looks as close to a real nail as possible, making sure that it's you know not flat or drooped down in any places. And if I need to add any teeny bits of a little bit more of acrylic to shape it properly, then I'm going to add that little bit of acrylic and make sure it's 
you know, a good shape so I don't have to file it very much when I'm finished. <laughs> and you always want to look at it from the side of the nail and down the tip of the nail until it's um, really properly shaped. Beautiful, because I've seen lots of pictures of it, but it just wasn't very motherly. She said, I'm having these mother and baby pictures, and I just decided to go all dark again. But it was light enough to make aqua. Like, you know, low. Again, it was all black on the top. Thumbs are a little bit but bigger, so make sure that you leave that brush in pictures. your acrylic powder for an extra yeah, second so it absorbs that. a little bit more powder before you sit it on the nail plate. You want to have enough what do you mean? In between of a what? fill bead that it's going to cover that entire section. It's reversed? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Can you see? Why don't you stand up and look? Yes, Bruce. You're... Turns out she can see. <laughs> I thought it was... She's smarter than the average bear, you know. <sighs> this is the first time I've filmed using that... Um, contraption so it's like a test to see if it works. Yeah, we're just testing it. When you're done you, you get to hold the gem. Fancy. Right, so that the nails you can hold. Oh, oh that's a clever. I oh. like I like it. People are such bad hand models they have <laughs> no idea how to hold their figures. It's oh, no. so bad. Yeah. Well pick a good color that you want to use for it. You can pick wherever you want it to be. So yes, she said something about a Malibu treatment between, she had it colored, like it had to be lightened twice to get to that color when she had it done that day. Mm -hmm. And um, her skin was so nice. Yeah, you, All right, I just I'm thought of a tip I mean, I, to I, share I, I for the, the secret of no lifting. You yeah, cannot yeah. touch yeah. And the nail with big, your wet little, brush. It will lift. It right the you have to make sure that the light. only was, thing that it, it touches it was, that fill space like, well, is the, the wet acrylic. Up, you have to move the wet acrylic yeah, with your brush onto the nail surface. You can't what let what the corner or the tip of your brush when you're scooting acrylic over touch the nail because it ruins the bond between the primer and that wet acrylic. Yeah, look at look at my hair. But, um, so I put an 8-0 over it with pen volume, and it looked really nice. So I was really happy with it. But, um, I wondered what, I mean, to me, a Malibu treatment was kind of was like a chlorine remover. Well, there's well, they, different, there's different but formulas, I, it's, it's yeah. It's a product I'm not familiar with. Right. I only have heard of it. There's about five or six different formulas. So, that was something that, you know, I'm, I'm investigate that because she's kind of my guinea pig and I like having her as a guinea pig because I might read the the pieces are pretty ribbony they're they wouldn't be impossible I, I could never pick up every hair obviously but I might be able to get a lighter shade of caramel combination with it you know and go back and go over it because mm -hmm. it is left in really good condition but now I want to know what this nail be thing is and I figured you know what it's it, kind of like just an olaplex just making sure the condition of the hair is not too compromised. It's just a treatment that you put on in between. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, then maybe it, I'll just give it a shot. And there's hard water again. and there's swimmers and there's. So a that's treatment. where I'm getting it from. Okay. Because the, the swimmer treatment is the the one that I'm. Yeah. Familiar yeah. with the name. Right. Yes. Another nail tip to there's speed your time up is you remember you, you know, touch it once, kind of like only shorten once. So you don't shorten the nails before you fill the nails. You're only blending the new growth when you before you fill the nails. Because by the time you shorten the nails and then you're going to come back and you're going to file the new fill area and then you're going to refine the free edge again, you're still wasting several minutes of your time. So you're only going to shorten the nails after you fill the nails. for the toner. Hi, Nicole. Hi. So, you know, considering product and time, I would have a place to go for time and charge. And uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. A free crayon came with this boil. I was wondering if there was. This 
So what? But I have five bulging discs oh, and yeah. one extruding disc. I wish yes. I could have an MRI. They said that the only way they can do it is if they take out all my bladder stimulator stuff and then do it while I'm still unconscious and put it back in. And I'm like, that doesn't sound like a very good idea to me. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I got a bladder nice. stimulator. That's what I need. When I need to pee, yeah. I need to be charged. Yeah. I know, so I had a shot and I'm on my fifth day of oral steroids and at least I can stand up. This is the second time I've left my house in I got a um I got a depo steroid shot last week and it helped a ton. Did it? See I had that and then they when I was at the ER they gave me a, a Toradol and a muscle relaxer shot too and Yeah, those are those don't work. Those make you dizzy for like six hours. I didn't care because you should have seen me. It was like the, like horrible. those horror stories that you see of people in labor, uh, like screaming at their husband, times a million. Because I was gonna be uh, like, I think he had like personal vendetta and drove over every bump. Bump. Oh life. my I god, was, I remember I feeling like that <laughs> driving down the road to you, Bruce. What? When Bruce would be driving, I'm like, God damn it! If you that, when Lori doesn't feel good, when Lori doesn't feel good, you can't do shit. Oh right. You can't breathe. I, I am mean as a <laughs> snake. Why do you have to stop so fast? Yeah. No, oh this is this okay. This is okay. To put it in perspective, this is what Bruce said to me one day, and I was like, Oh, he goes, Man, your words cut deep. I said, Oh shit. I better be nice. Yeah, at least she's just, not like that all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Lori, no, she when she don't have a field position, she don't give a fuck. Right? And if you're you're sitting there thinking, oh, uh, man, if I even sort of said shit like that. Well, you know what? It was no. I'm allergic to, like literally, they put it on my um, chart as an allergy. I'm allergic oh, to Vicodins and Percocets and stuff. They fuck. make me mean. <laughs> I mean mean. She means mean. You're miserable. And you're, so you're vicious. I gotta go make a No, she. All oh, right. Okay. See ya. Oh yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. No, she means like you take the pill. And people get, you know, some sort of relief out of like, and then it just turns up Lori's mm -mm. bitch factor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. I took like, I don't even like myself I when it. I take it. Well, and it doesn't, I mean. it doesn't work. I mean, it just, uh, it makes you, like, distracted where it, you're yes. thinking about other stuff instead of, it's like, oh, you know, don't think about your back and your neck hurting. Just think about... I don't know. You just lose patience. Everything bothers you. I took it when I had Sam, and I was at the hospital, and I was waiting for Dave. And I had, you know, it was the day I got up. I was taking, is it Darvaset, the pink pill? Oh yeah, I probably. Think is what it was, and that worked pretty good. But I was laying in bed. I wasn't doing anything. So I thought, well, I'm getting up. I'm antsy. I'm moving, walking around. You know, I'm waiting for him to come. He's bringing Carly. I hadn't seen her in three days, and. Uh, I thought I better take the Vicodin because they were sending me home with it. God, did I hate that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, when is this going to go? I mean, I wouldn't even hold Sam. So I've been filing the same way for so many years that it's usually around, um, to shorten a nail, it's like seven to ten strokes, depending on how much they want me to take off. To go around the cuticle on the left side, it's like five to seven strokes. And then to go around to the right side, the same around five strokes. And then to go across the nail is usually um, between five and, and ten times to go across to smooth everything out. Uh, but I always shorten the nail first because you have to taper that tip when you're going across um, the top <laughs> of the nail to blend all of that in. And I usually spend like one minute per nail. Yeah, so it should take you about ten <laughs> minutes to file the nails. When well, you're done that's filling why them in, an epidemic on opioids is because it's it's killing people because people are so mean. Yeah, there you go. Ugh, it is. It was, I do not. I hate. I hate it. I couldn't even. I couldn't focus on ignoring the pain. You know, sometimes you have to talk your through, yourself through the pain. You know, oh, like yeah. and, and and work on it. And you're, it, it just made me feel terrible. I couldn't wait for it to go away. And I must have called David 20 times. He goes, I need the elevator. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I'm in 
the elevator. I'm like, okay. Is he back on his horse? Yeah. He did way too much yesterday. He was hurting pretty good. He was testing that hip. Yeah. Well, it was feeling good. The hip was feeling really good. So, a couple walks through the snow and then down the ravine. That wasn't a good idea. Yeah, but he should be going up and down the ravine. That was shit. not a good idea. And then we moved the freezer, the deep freeze, we moved into the closet that I have back here because in the summertime it's too hot in the garage and it fights to keep. Oh yeah. And it, it doesn't stop running. So we decided to put it at the end of the um, in there because it's not something you're frequently in and out of is if you get to deer or if we were to buy a half a pig or something like that. So. It's, we're not, it's empty and not running right now, but we figured it'd be more efficient. We stopped wanting to use it when it came to the summertime. We could only felt comfortable using it in the winter because we opened it a couple of times and things were not rock hard. Uh -huh. So it didn't seem like a good idea. So that was, you know, him taking a deep freeze on a dolly, you know, and... You know what I mean? He's going to have too much confidence and then he's going to end up hurting day. his back. This is all one day. He did all of that yesterday. So, needless to say, he's running a little sore today. But He's just so happy he's not hurting. That's great. Now, if someone were going to get gel polish, you do not have to buff the nails. You do not have to remove the fill lines because the gel polish fills in all of those little um, tiny crevices. But she wears natural nail polish, not natural nail polish, but just regular nail polish. And so we have to buff out all those fill lines and make sure the nail is nice and smooth or you will be able to see them in the nail polish. Actually, that is what I had in my mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the mood for something a little lighter. I mean, it is going to be 65. Do you want it to be nice and flat or have any shimmer in it? Um, I, I like it flat, I think. Okay. Can you put a little shimmer maybe on one of them? Mm-hmm. Whichever one is maybe a ring finger or something. Or sure. Do whatever you think. Something different. They, they have an app. You can buy them right on the app, too. Did you join the rewards club? I think I did. Yeah. Do you guys go there much? Yeah, we go a couple times a month, probably. We've never been to the movies so much <laughs> since it opened. I mean, yeah. it's so well, reasonable. Nothing was convenient. Yeah. But no, I, I enjoy it. It's a nice place to go. It was the best thing they ever did was put a movie theater. I mean, that, that's yeah. probably a, a gold mine for them because we all need something close. Yes. So you have to drive for everything. Yes. I would love an ice skating rink. 
Me too. I wish they would put an ice skating rink. They need like a community center with a lot of activities. With an ice skate, you know. Yeah. I'm surprised they, that they, I mean, I'm sure that that's an involved thing, but I would think if that community, or the, the rec center has all that land. I mean, an ice skating rink would, would work. People would use it. I mean, yeah. I don't want to drive all the way to Ann Arbor to go to an ice skating rink. Mm -mm. All right, you can go wash off. Carly just had a, um, a birthday party. <coughs> Polishing can be a big time thief. So when you're polishing, I'm going to tell you a few tips. On the base coat, make sure that you press down on the bristles enough so they fan out. You want the bristles to fan out so they cover almost all of the nail plate. Um, in school you learn, oh, three um, swipes of the nail brush. Well, when people have really long nails, it's going to take you more than three, but especially on the base coat and the first coat of polish, you do not have to be perfect. You want to get it as close to the cuticle as you possibly can. When you're polishing the left side of the nail, you're staring at the left tip of the nail brush, and when you're polishing the right side of the nail, you're staring, staring at the right tip of the nail brush bristles. So you make sure that you get them all the way to the edge. But you're going to apply firm pressure and you're going to use a quick, brisk stroke. You don't want to go too slow because the polish will pool onto the nail and it will cause you more problems. You want one thin oh, coat of base coat on the whole nail. So the first coat of the polish, you're going to use the same technique. If you have too much polish on your brush, you can do one swipe down the center of the nail first, and then go to the left and to the right. I try to do the left side all the way, and then the right side all of the way, and then maybe one quick stroke down the center of the nail. Especially with light color polishes, you can get brush stroke lines in them. So you want to make sure that you're only using a tiny bit of polish on the bristles of the brush and don't worry about any of those brush strokes lines until the second coat of polish. Monday's Judy doing? Oh, she's doing well. She's getting ready to go to Egypt. Really? Yeah. She might actually be there now. With the church? Oh, no, just with one of her friends that she travels with. I can't believe these warm temperatures. It's crazy. It's 52 today and 65 tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully by then all of the rest of the snow will have melted. Mm -hmm. The final coat of polish, you're going to have a little bit of a different technique. You're going to have a little bit more polish on the bristles of your brush, and you're not going to use as much pressure and you're going to use like an extra stroke to make sure that the coverage is really good. So a little bit less pressure, just lightly feathering the polish over top of that first layer and making sure all of those brush stroke lines are covered up. I remember playing at my grandma's house when I was young and we um, had this rope swing down in this ravine and that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Favorite thing to do. Well, I, every year I tell myself this, and yet I don't go down there every year, so I, I, I kind of was surprised. But right where it 
and in pools. It's ice, and it's probably only, you know, four inches, five inches thick, so you, there's no real water. Like, if you broke through, your ankle would be wet. Right, you know, there's not, there's, It's not like there's, you know, the water, chap. anything bad. But it must have keep the weeds down because it's a true ice little pond, and it's reasonably large. And I thought, all I need to do is shovel this thing, and they could skate. Oh, yeah. I mean, and they really could skate. And I thought, the first year I thought about it, I thought, well, maybe I'm delusional. Maybe it's not as big as I think. Maybe there's all too many weeds coming up through it, you know. Wouldn't be smooth. So, like, am I imagining that? And I went back down the other day, and I thought, absolutely, this is a huge area. There's no weeds, no trees coming up in the middle of it. It literally just needs to be shoveled. And it was ice underneath it. It's kind of slushy ice right now because of the temperatures, but... You don't want to see your should seriously consider doing that. Right. Just get them some I used can, uh, skates and mm -hmm. you know. like a shot of Kahlua to take the edge off that coffee. That was a great. I like that. When do you guys have to go speed around the budget? When? Huh? What did you say when? When, yeah. Uh one twenty. Is Dave going? No. Huh? No. 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 He's not a movie fan. To sit in a movie theater, I cannot tell you the last time I sat in movies with Dave. He said, Lori, your Lori feelings won't be hurt if I don't go, right? I'm like, you don't want to go. <laughs> Lori tried to get my dad to go to the movie theater. Yeah, I, like, a movie and I don't think my dad's ever been in, that I can recall, a movie theater where there's like a... Well, actually, when the kids were like really, really little, he went to one with like Evan. But... I was like, yeah, that's not going to go over there. He doesn't want to go to the movies. He's grouchy. It's beautiful. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know. He's never, never been a fan of it. I think the last time we were in a movie theater, we seen Saving Private Ryan. Wow, that's, that's a long that's time That's the last time he was in a movie theater. Because he said he'd heard, what a great movie. The last was. step is a top coat. I use a fast drying top coat. Um, it's usually dry to the touch and about five minutes so they can at least run their fingers through their hair but if they dent it it's not going to be dry for at least 30 minutes um, I hope you guys learned quite a few things in this video today the only way I can grow my channel and be successful is by all of my viewers helping me by clicking the like button leaving me a comment about what you learned and please share my videos there's a share button where you can share to Facebook Google Plus Twitter Tumblr all, all kinds of there's like seven different places you can share my videos so I would really appreciate it if you would help me grow my subscriber base the more subscribers the more shares that I get then the more videos I am able to make and I would yeah, I really appreciate all of your help people, doing that. You know, I mean, no one does, and that's why they make yeah. theaters like this. And then they have little sections that you even have aisle yes. ways between you, you know? So, I'm loving it. Oh, um, all right. well, I like that, um, Beauty and the Beast was amazing right. to see there. Carly and I went and seen that. There you go. <gasps> and it was, it was two and a half hours long, and I will say it was too long. But up until the last 20 minutes, it was so captivating because it's a musical. Right. So you'd think that that would wear you out. It would me. But um, it was great. I've never seen any girl movies like that because of the boys. Well, the next You're time like, I see something, I will, I will call you. <laughs> because you would love Beauty and the Beast. It was gorgeous. It, I mean, the whole sh it was just really... And any we adult. saw Beauty and the Beast. I don't think so. We did with the with the Harry Potter girl. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah, we saw Beauty I was and the Beast. The cartoon. We're not, we're not all heathens. We don't make her just watch shoot 'em up movies. <laughs> yes, they do. Don't believe them for one <laughs> second. Oh my God. We totally saw Beauty and the Beast. My children are like, don't even think about it. We're not mm. seeing any girl movies. Beautiful. It's pretty. Very, very nice. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Alright, I gotta go in the pedicure room. Didn't you go watch some girl movie with
Here are some other great videos for you to check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.